Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Today I would like to share with you my brief experience with the Meizu 16S. So this device was launched not too long ago and it brings the latest Snapdragon 855 to the table. This is Meizu's current flagship device so we can expect it to perform exceedingly well or at least similar to other flagships such as the Xiaomi Mi 9, the Huawei P30 or the Samsung S10. So before I begin, I just want to share with you the items that came in the box. Basically all you get is uh, this charger. This is a quick charger, the Type-C cable, and the Meizu 16S itself. There are no other accessories in the box and that's why I didn't do the full unboxing video. So regarding the price, I got the Meizu 16S for 3200 RMB here in China and that is equivalent to about 470 US dollars or approximately 1950 ringgit if you are in Malaysia. Alright, so now let's talk about the Meizu 16S. The one thing that I really liked and that actually attracted me the most was the notchless display. Like these days, you often see like a notch as part of the design on most smartphones, but the Meizu 16S here keeps it really clean with a very nice design. So if you take a look at the top and bottom, these have very thin bezels, both at the top and bottom, and they are symmetrical, so that's very important. The side bezels are also very thin, so I chose the white version because it kind of stands out from the crowd in terms of uh, the overall look. Like you don't see this kind of look very often these days. Moving on to the back, here you can see that the Meizu 16S comes with a dual camera. Uh, and here is the ring of the flash. The whole back design is very clean and there is not much to see here. But overall this is a very simplistic design that I like a lot. So moving on to the sides here, we see that we have this uh, volume rocker together with your power button. If you move on to the bottom, you'll notice that here you see your Type-C port, the SIM card tray, and a speaker. So moving on to the top here, you see that it is also very clean and doesn't have anything. Same goes for the left side. So one thing that is missing here is the headphone jack, if you already noticed. But the Meizu 16S compensates by giving you stereo speakers. That's right, you have speakers at the bottom and speakers through the earpiece. Alright, so now that I'm done talking about the design, let me just share with you my experience like using the Meizu 16S. So the build quality here is pretty nice. Everything seems really nicely built together. And one thing I can say that it feels really good in hand. This device is a 6.2 inch uh, display and it doesn't feel too big and it is also very slim. So it fits perfectly in my hand. All right, so let's talk about a bit about that display. So this display is an AMOLED display and as you can see, it is very vibrant. It is provided by Samsung and so far I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So to unlock the device, you use the in-display fingerprint scanner and you get in right away. Here I have been using this device for about 2 days now and performance on this device has been very very smooth. There is nothing much to complain about, I mean, this is the Snapdragon 855 and I have 6GB of RAM here so definitely performance here is stellar. There is no problems uh, with just everyday use, even gaming, gaming is very smooth for me. So far I have been gaming the uh, Mobile Legends equivalent in China and this game runs really really well. The only thing that I would mention about gaming here is that the phone does heat up a little bit and it does get a little bit uncomfortable when playing the games but other than that, gaming on this device is definitely not an issue. Another thing that I want to show you guys is the benchmark scores that I got for the Meizu 16S. So over here you can see that the Meizu 16S scored a very respectable 371,000 and if you go into details, you can just check it out for yourselves and just uh, use this as a reference point. But one thing that I want to show you guys is the ranking. So when you go to ranking, you'll notice that the Meizu 16S actually is just slightly below the top from the Xiaomi Mi 9. The Mi 9 is still the champion on the ranking table, but the Meizu 16S is actually higher than the Black Shark 2. It is higher than the Vivo IQ as well as the Samsung S10. So in the current table, whether it is accurate or not, the Meizu 16S sits at the third spot. So well, you can take it with a pinch of salt, but what you must know is that the Meizu comes with some really good performance here. Launching apps here has also been very smooth. There's, there is not much issues. Everything is very smooth and you can see that even when browsing, everything loads very quickly and there is no lags whatsoever. Performance here is great. Alright, so moving on, I want to talk about the, uh, the cameras. So the cameras at the back here is pretty good, but one thing I would say is that the pictures that I took came out a little noisy. So for instance, uh, let me just, I took this shot, a macro shot of this uh, a Xiaomi earphones and I noticed that on the surface there is like a lot of uh, little dots. So the images are a bit noisy even during the day. 
So I, don't, I find this to be a slight issue because I don't find these kind of uh, noisy images during the day from other devices. So let me just take a look at another picture here. So I took a picture of this van and, and as you can notice, there is a little bit of over sharpening going on and the picture looks, I mean, it looks a bit interesting, stylized. It looks stylized, but if you guys are looking for that natural kind of look, you won't really find it here. Everything is uh, very uh, sharpened and I guess it really depends on your personal preference. Some of you may like this kind of effects, but I personally find that some of the pictures here turns out just a little bit too noisy for my liking. So I haven't took much night shots yet, but I'm sure that uh, it'll do well. I will share more with you guys later. But for now, just taking a look at the day shots, you will notice that, I mean, it is good. But if you just like zoom in a little bit, you'll notice that there is a lot of like noise in the pictures. So this is just one thing that you guys should know and something that I would like to share with you. Another thing that I want to note is that this device does not come with a wide angle camera. So it comes with a 48 megapixel main sensor from Sony and a 20 megapixel telephoto lens. So that is all that you get but you won't be able to shoot any wide angle shots. So if you are just too near to an object, what I can say is that maybe take a few steps back and take that photo instead of using a wide angle camera. So I really wish that Meizu gave us like a third sensor, the uh, wide angle sensor, but unfortunately that is not here. So I wouldn't complain too much about that. Moving on to the video. So I did take a couple of sample videos and I will share it with you guys, but there is this uh, stabilization going on and so far I think that stabilization is pretty good. I wouldn't say that it is the best but as you can see through this video, um, it looks pretty smooth. Everything looks uh, very nicely done. Um, the EIS is working together with the OIS and yeah, overall you get a rather stable video. This is basically what I'm getting with the cameras on the Meizu 16S. So I would say that the camera is kind of a mixed bag uh, in such that it is good but then there is like a bit of noise and it's a bit too stylized for my liking. Like I mean if I want to stylize my pictures I would prefer to edit them but I would also prefer to have the more natural looking images instead of these like uh, very uh, stylized images. Okay so anyway that's it for the camera. Next thing I want to share with you guys is the battery life on this device. So this Meizu 16S comes with a 3600 mAh battery and it is definitely good enough for a full day's use on just one single charge. Another thing that I should mention is that this charger that came in the box is super quick. So I didn't do like a, a charging speed test but essentially you'll be able to charge your device really quickly and you should not worry too much about your battery life if you just carry your charger around with you. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is the speakers. So like I said just now, this comes with uh, stereo speakers. So the sound does get pretty loud. But one thing I must no note is that this, although the sound is very loud, there is also a bit of bass, but it gets a little tinny in terms of the sound quality. So it is good in such that it gives you stereo speakers, both at the top and bottom, because uh, I mean, not every phone out there comes with stereo speakers. So you do get the benefit of having spe stereo speakers, but the thing is that sometimes it's a bit teenish and yeah, overall I would say that <laughs> stereo speakers is still better than single firing speakers, but yeah, there is just a little downside in that it is a bit teenish. Alright, so that's it for the speakers. Overall, I would say that uh, this device is uh, very satisfactory in terms of the daily use. Um, you can run apps like I said smoothly, performance is fine, the camera is okay and uh, I, mean, I mean you guys are just going to be sharing a lot of these photos on Instagram or Facebook. So overall I would say that, the, that everything else is good on this device. The main thing I want to highlight here again is the notchless design. <laughs> so I really really like the fact that it doesn't come with a notch and putting it side to side with the iPhone XS Max, you'll notice that the notch actually looks really really hideous. So I mean sometimes when we just take a look at smartphones, we don't really notice like, the, the notch at the side. But once you put it side by side, you actually notice the notch and <laughs> it looks really really ugly. So this is a, a really good thing that has been done by Meizu in, the, in such that they have like kept us a very clean design without any notch. And the display is just so great. So it is really good if you like watching a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, on Netflix. If you're the kind of person who watch a lot of videos, then this is definitely something you should consider. The Meizu 16S. All 
Alright guys, uh, I think that is pretty much uh, my experience with the Meizu 16S. Of course, I will definitely be continuing to use this device for a couple more days and I will share more pictures on my Instagram. So if you guys want to check out uh, the shots taken by the Meizu 16S, you can head on to my Instagram at limreviews and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!